Oh, he's running. Oh, he's under the log. He's under the log. He's gonna break my, oh, he's gonna break my line. Hey, what's up everyone? John Stenstrom here from Cast and Spear and let's go on a little fishing adventure. This video, we're going to the backcountry of Yosemite, one of my favorite places. I've been doing this since I was a little kid and I've never really documented it for my friends and family. In this video, you're gonna learn three things. The first is I'm very bad at fly fishing and I'm really rusty. I haven't really been doing it that much uh, and I kinda need your help. So if you know how to fly fish better, please let me know in the comments below some tips and tricks. The second thing, why you should always check your gear and I didn't do that this time for whatever reason and I paid the price and you're gonna see why and number three don't try and take a picture of your fish before you secure it I lost a pretty good size brook trout just because I wanted to take that picture <laughs> for you guys so without further ado let's go on a hike all right welcome to saddle bag saddle bag lake saddle bag lake I wish you were here to see this we got the fly rod and the tankara but look at that view Water is so clear. If you start forward when it's still going back, it'll snap. So you gotta kind of delay your forward a little more. So we didn't have luck at that lake, and actually, I don't even think there's anything alive in it, to be honest. So we're moving on down downstream of the lake. To some of these, to this meadow where it has this stream. Got the tank car out. Might do a little bit of the fly as well, fly rod. Check out the view. Magical. All right, well, I hope you had a good laugh there and saw my bad casting technique. So if you have any tips, please let me know. But enough of that, let's go into Yosemite so you can see one of my favorite places in the entire world. Start of the trailhead. Off to Cathedral Lakes. We are packed. Ready to go. Fishing poles. Mosquitoes are attacking already. Let's go. So that's how you do high Sierra air conditioning. First snow bank we've seen. Clouds off in the distance. It doesn't look like they're gonna rain too hard, so good time. Let's stop and take a break. Go off this little embankment. I do a little snow sliding. See what we can do. Oh, it's so pretty. Just some beautiful clouds. That's not good. We still have four days of hiking left. Oh boy. Should check my gear. Four. Oh, that looks pretty interesting. And it looks dark back there as well. Good thing we're heading off into the sunlight. Hopefully. Thunder and lightning. Bolt up. That didn't last long. Completely off. And she was talking to me. All right, so by now you know you should always check your gear before you go out on a backcountry trip so you don't end up like me with only one boot. But by the end of that leg, on from the car, from the car all the way to sunrise, the camp zone, we were beat. By the end of the day, we were tired. We just couldn't wait to get our tent set up, get away from the mosquitoes, and get some good rest, because now we're gonna go on a day hike to one of my favorite places called Clouds Rest, which I did back when I was, I believe, eight or nine. And it's nice to see these hikes again as an adult. But along the way, we are going to stop by Sunrise Lakes and try and catch some trout with a Tenkara. So this is Sunrise, Sunrise Meadows. So what happened right in that little pool when it was dried back in the day when I was a kid? We were bending down 
down to see a frog and a falcon. And I was over here going, whoa, what? Look out! <laughs> I remember that. I was. I think it came from that little dome right there, and I had my green hat on, yeah. and all it looked like was a kite. And as soon as it came close, I like kind of put my head up and stood up, and he got freaked out, yeah. and just barely the talons missed my head. Mood, right? I was like, whoa! lake for sunrise lake and you can see there are some fish activity out there therefore you know i got the tank car in the backpack we need to go drop a line see if we can catch something we're gonna stop by on the way back as well hopefully catch a couple keepers rule of thumb uh pretty much i read the regulations keep the rainbows released you probably could take two here but um probably best to just release the rainbows and keep any trout that's greater than 10 inches, it's easier. Park ranger actually said they're trying to do kind of big fish kill off, essentially. They're hiring people to come out because the non-native species of trout are wreaking havoc on this endangered yellow legged frog, I believe it was. So I'm gonna do my part. I'm trying to catch a couple trout. They're jumping. I just finished reading Simple Fly Fishing by Yvonne Chouinard and I've been doing Tenkara all wrong. <laughs> now it's game on time. Maybe try a little nymphing while I'm out here. Let's do it. Car is all done. Charge! Oh my gosh. This is just to say we fished here because this is unreal. Ow, get off me. Ouch. Drop a line in. Some deer tracks. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Look at this guy. We got ourselves a keeper size. Tankara for the win. And the mosquitoes. We got ourselves a keeper. All right. Super excited. This will be our catch and cook trout. Oh, we're at the third lake, and there are some monster trout right under these downed logs. Okay, on the back cast. Oh, he's coming. He sees it. Sees it. Got it. Oh, he bit it. Pulled it too far. Here we go. Upstream. He sees it. He's hungry. He's hungry. You got it. He bit it. He pulled. Oh my gosh. There it is. There it is. Bite. 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 Oh. Got him, got him. Got him, right there. Oh, he's a big one. He's running, he's running. Oh, he's running, oh, he's under the log. He's under the log, he's gonna break my, oh, he's gonna break my line. Oh no. Oh shit, he's hooked under the tree. Don't wanna break the tip. Don't wanna break the tip. Oh no, what do I do? Oh no. This is a this is a bind. Come on, break down. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's get the tip back in. Okay. Let's get the tip back in. Figure out how to get this land this fish. He's huge. He's huge. We got him. We got him. Keep tension. Keep tension. Keep tension. Oh, we're set. This guy's a monster. Oh, shit. No. All right, well, that does it for this leg of the journey. Please hit that subscribe button so you can see the next video where we hit the summit.
of Cloud's Rest, and we do a little bit of catch and cook action with the trout that we caught. It's gonna be a good time. Definitely hit that like button if you like nature camping and, and seeing some of this backcountry action. And let me know in the comments what your favorite national park is. Is it Yosemite? Do you have another one? What's your favorite trail? Let me know. I'm curious, because I would love to add it to my list of national park adventures that I wanna do once this pandemic is over. But until next time, I'll see you on the next video, actually. And tight lines, take care. Bye.